Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine read for you. It's not too, too long, so it'll be a pretty quick one. And I, did, I just did a meditation to see what messages came up, and there was a few messages. The first one was seeing uh, Dopey of the Seven Dwarfs. But I was seeing him as an old man, and he had a big underbite, but his teeth were like sharp as opposed to flat. They had worn down over time, so to say. And he, it looked like he was kind of like a homeless person drinking and he had a drink, but he kept missing his mouth and kept pouring it over his head. He meant to get it to his mouth, but he kept pouring it over his head over and over and over again. Then I saw a, uh, a baton twirler, I think it was. I wasn't sure at first if it was a gymnast or a ballerina or a ribbon worker, but then I was getting more, the outfit was more of a baton twirler, which would make sense since I talk about the baton all the time. And she was wearing a gold and green all sparkle outfit and kept marching back and forth. I first saw her doing cartwheels and it looked like a star because it was spinning in sparkles. But then when she stopped, you could see it was this baton twirler who was in this, you know, it was like a cheerleading outfit in a way, but all very sparkly gold and green, like half and half. I'm trying to remember what else I saw. Oh, I saw, um, you know those paper candies where they're like dots of pastel colored candies on, pa on a roll of paper? I was seeing those. And then I was seeing, um, I don't know if it was referencing Halloween. And now I'm blanking out on the fourth thing. But they may be specific messages for certain people. So if anything comes up for you, let me know. So the read for the masculine today, and it is October 26, 2019. I'm trying to think of what the fourth thing was that I saw. Oh, I know what it was. I saw um, I, I saw the hand um, on a grab a cane and then sit in an armchair. But I kept getting the message that this was not an old man. So somebody might have hurt themselves. So that may be a message for someone. The reason why they can't do anything or haven't reached out is because they're recovering from some kind of physical injury or they have some kind of chronic physical injury that they'll always need to use a cane. So that was for somebody. So October 26, 2019, the 26th is the Page of Wands, and it's also the 8 of inner and outer strength, but also the higher levels of manifestation, of making your dreams come true. So we're at the 48 today. Today adds up to 48. Is that right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 22, 32, 42, 48. Yeah, so that's the 8, the eight of Cups, and the 48 is also a 3 of coming together, of being social, expressing yourself authentically, the happy-go-lucky, joyous person. But the Eight of Cups is one of the more somber threes because it's more about walking away and going within. Coming together with yourself, in a sense. With inspiration, though, with the 26. So you have the Three and the Eight. The Eight of Cups. Well, the 48 is the Three. Three and the Eight of the 26, and then the Eight the Three of Cups is the, excuse me, the uh, 48 is a three, but it's also the Eight of Cups. So we have two eights, and then the 26 is a page, so it's not a number. But so being very inspired, inspired to walk away and go within, really do what's for your higher, your, what's in your highest good, what's for your highest good. The masculine read today was done at 218 to 19. So 18 is the, 2 is the high priestess, 18 is the moon, and 19 is the sun. And the sun and the moon are both reversed in this read. As the sun's going down, you can see outside, it's getting dark out. And don't forget, this is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. It's for many, many people. And it's also for the divine masculine, but that's the masculine within everybody, the masculine and the feminine. The major arcana for this read were Luna, which is the moon, Starseed, the fool, Shadow, the devil, 
alchemy, the temperance card, and before the read, the higher self and abundance came up, which are the high priestess and the empress. And after the read, the emperor came up, which is called reason in the Syrian starseed deck. And all the decks are below, if you're interested in the titles. We have uh, two pentacles, two cups, two wands, and one sword here. So very well balanced between the elements, the suits, and the court cards. The only court card there's in the actual read was the page of wands, which is right in the center of the read. The energy was inspiration of the page of wands. The masked boy with the burning desire or the flame inside. We also, though, have the nine, the nine of pentacles before the read, which for me is often the sovereign person, so it's a person. And then after the read, we have the page of cups, which also came up. The code line for me was all about spiritual partnership today. And we had triple sixes in the read today. And the code line was all about the number six as well. So they were separate from each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see, we had double eights as well. Uh, 56, which is the two of swords being in your knowing. The two of the high priestess, the nine of the hermit. 25 is the knight of wands. 68 is the page of pentacles. 67 is the knight of pentacles. And 78 is the ten of pentacles. So a lot of pentacles there. 89 also came up. 9, 10, begin again. And then the 2, 2, 2, 1. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So someone, um, there's a 2, 2 coming up from that and also someone who may stutter. So that might be an issue for someone obviously an issue of insecurity. The message here around, around spiritual partnership had to do with the six of crystals, which was very uh, relevant to this read, which is all about balance in relationships, equitable relationships, having fair relationships of giving and receiving, give and take in a balanced way. And weighing the scales of justice as well. So it's like a lower, a minor arcana of the justice card. So that was coming up. So the major energy around the coding today was that six of love, family, and community, as well as the lovers, but also the balanced relationship between the lovers and the spiritual, more spiritual partnership. Alki came up, which has to do with alchemy, but also alcoholism. And the divine feminine very much was coming up saying to the divine masculine, the divine feminine is the alchemist of balance in your relationship. So see your spiritual partnership. Say yes to spiritual partnership. Also, Seventh Heaven was coming up here, also referencing the chariot with the seven. In regard to the alky, um, the master may be called to let go of his own alcoholism or someone in his, he's in inequitable relate, relationship with who's, who's an alcoholic. So let go of those ties. Sever the alky for balance, for safety and security of the chakra system. So getting into the read, we had the sovereign. And we have the Sovereign here, which is the Nine of Pentacles. This is upright energy today, but we see we have the Sovereign here too. These are the two Sovereigns of the Twins and the Twin Flames between them, you see? And then the world is here. It's complete. Also could be traveling around the world. So we have the, the Seven of Cups here, the Higher Self, as well as the Abundance card, which is the Empress. And then the Eight of Swords was here. And then we have that Nine of Pentacles on top, which is the Nine of Crystals in this deck. This, the Syrian Starseed deck is crystals, flames, chalices, and orbs. I just say the, the typical title because it's, it's more um, understood by more people. <clears throat> so starting out with that Nine of Pentacles upright, the Sovereign, and the Higher Self and Abundance, which are like the High Priestess and the Empress, are side by side in that underlying energy. They are also side by side right here in the read. I don't know if you could see me over here, yeah. We have the Empress and the High Priestess both reversed side by side again. So in two different places, it's like two older people. It's like your mother or your grandmother and their sister. It's that kind of energy, like the old biddies. <laughs> but it also could be two people who are very much set in their ways and are going against the grain for the Divine Masculine these days. And the Dark Mother energy has been coming up all week, so it's important. So the, uh, the independent person or your sovereignty, with synchronicities and desires, choices of the higher self reversed and the empress reversed, possibly in prison together, right? So that could be older people who keep themselves in a prison of the old ways, right? Even though it's not serving them. The divine feminine synchronicities, synchronicities are being seen by possibly 
the masculine's mother and her sister or mother-in-law and sister or even the karma, anyone karmic around them with a sister or a friend that's female. Or the secret is out about lack, a miscarriage, an abortion, or a mother who's out of control. Deception and push to their emotional limits, patient angel is now inspired by it. Or confused, or someone's confused and not using their intuition, the empress reversed is power hungry, out of control, in lack, or ill or sick. Or imprisoned by a sovereign child, or with anxiety issues, either one. Or it could be an adult, doesn't have to be a child, or the need to be single or independent here. Aquarius reversed and Libra upright and Virgo upright, shedding light on new love, message of love, a new child or puppy love, a friend out in the world, around the world, um, coming full circle, complete, or the sealed divine feminine, independent, or depressed with justice, divorce, or now with truth and balance, taking time alone to focus on new love, or for travel, or inner child or a love child, or your child, or new love with the divine feminine marching to the beat of her own drum, where the bull and ego can't get at her. White legs at the ocean, away from the sand with their shoes on, and definitely the bull and ego have to do with Taurus and Leo energies, uh, walking the boards, or boardwalks, or boat shoes on a cruise around the world, innocently standing on top of the world, or a mountain and expressing your love, a proclamation, Sovereign, independent, the cycle done. Third party heartbreak, separation is out. Juliet is out on the balcony. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore out, wherefore art there Romeo? And so that, that whole scene comes up. And this was at 256. Two is the high priestess and 56 is that two of swords being in your knowing. So using your intuition. So here's Juliet out on the balcony calling out for her Romeo ready to move or travel, or a child is out waiting for a ride, possibly a date. And then we're at 257, which is the Three of Swords. Crazy energies abound today as Mercury approaches in retrograde. Delays in travel and communication, moving, ending marriage, or going to visit a friend. 1111 also came up, November a big month. Two sovereigns around the world in disconnect with heart-to-heart -heart conversations and beneath that was finances and career for the Divine Masculine. And by the way, all four pages were upright again today, so a lot of really positive young energy around. In split and lies and BS, harsh truth is out of getting wish to be on their own. The karmic all business and cappuccino in bed, obsession with cutting cords and disconnecting from partnership. Self-discipline came up and spirituality. Uh, Spirituality is 77, and self-discipline is 41. 41 is the Ace of, Pen is the Ace of Cups, that new love, or self-love, spiritual love. And beneath that was spirituality, which is 77, the Sovereign, that Nine of Pentacles, which came up times two today, and two sevens here with the 77. Or breaking up because one partner is obsessed with another person, or a death that they never got over, Quasimodo doesn't want to share Notre Dame or Our Dame. She belongs to me, all mine, mine, oh, ha, 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 okay? So the karmic is disconnected, tired of being understanding. Issues at work, fighting, conflict, competition, dumping responsibilities to start over and learning something new or take care of a child or a student or there's an opportunity or invitation to play. And then I started sweating a lot then, so there's masculine energy coming in there. Shadows are closing in, feeling a failure or in need of attention, under the radar so that the dark can't get at you, coming clean or sneaking out the back door while the ride is upstairs waiting. Or bold move in leaving and the chariot in leaving the chariot without a driver. No world travel together, no Olympics, skedaddling out of there, leaving a few scraps behind. Cancer energy is bold and on top. A bold move to move or travel, the twin sovereigns around the world in a need to connect. The recent past here is the Six of Cups upright, the children in the garden, and this, this deck they're very much hugging each other. Sudden attention to the need to connect and magically manifesting the Magi and the Sealed Divine Feminine. New passion offered, 
from twins to each other. The King of Swords reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed may be leaving the past behind. Creating light from dark. The foundation here is the Two of Flames starting over in love, holding their tongues or speaking in tongues in need of peace by offering a new life to their sovereignty, to each other's sovereignty. The central energy here is the Page of Wands inspired to be love, offer love, or an opportunity or invitation to the Knight of Wands and abundant family. Kids may help the Divine Masculine to actually come forward. Only one option or path for the twins inspired by this new moon. The King of Swords reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed may actually send their kids out with invitations to solicit wealthy families to a party or chariot event or Halloween or birthday party. The challenge being the Six of Pentacles reversed. Inequity of sovereign in a tower moment or debt, scam, a need to rebalance, a sudden event, explosion or epiphany, awakening to a message of love, Coming clean, the king of wands with justice or divorce now behind him. The worst over in a war and coming clean about guilt to sovereign suddenly out of nowhere. The knight of swords reversed, holding their tongue about the past, and that's at 327, which is the empress and the ace of wands. Starting over in love, resting, meditating, working through difficult emotions and, diff and issues at work while around other people or energies, but the worst is over. With the devil marked man not expressing and holding back passionate exchange for a new life offer to the Queen of Wands reversed, looking to manifest for herself or looking to the Divine Masculine to make the magic for her without her having to do any work. Now the moon reversed with deception that the wounded warrior is joyful without options coming together with others and seeing synchronicities like a happy camper, but they're coming up as the wounded warrior. Rejection, feeling vulnerable, in, or detoxing death, dark night, or transition or transformation, in boldly going where no man has gone before, over loss or regret, letting go of the baton to come together to co-create and stand up for self while fending off others, in a deception, early morning hours, and or the new moon that's coming up around the 30th. Sudden jealousy and clinginess and scared of the full changes, the transformation. As the Masson might say, the headless horseman can't touch me now. I'm free to leap away from the devil's temptation, the ball and chain. Working through leaving without walking away, so doing the work while around other energies, Ending the three-way situation, coming clean about the one true lover. Manifesting to end an end to all the pain with sovereign over grief with Capricorn or devil and coming clean about sneakiness, not telling all their feelings though, saving for a reunion after getting the Queen of Wands reversed on her feet financially. Soon the big bomb drops, free to leap to a fresh new start, present in knowing about the Queen of Cups reversed in 5D, divine marriage with the emperor out of control and the hermit shedding light on it. And Taurus, Aries, and Virgo energies came, out, came up right there. Seven of Pentacles reversed, implementing a plan with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, and the Queen of Wands reversed, Aries, Virgo, or Gemini, to manifest on her own. And these two queens can be the same person. Or two. The Divine Masculine is coming up here, seeing himself as the devil, the shadow energy, or just the Capricorn on a quest to free the hostage, which can be themselves or can be somebody else. In downturn or in the turn of fate, holding on and grounding, the King of Pentacles is fully upright but losing hope. So he's very stable and in his power financially with work and all that, but he's losing hope. Um, paying attention to the red flags, which has to do with, you know, look for your signs and synchronicities and your guidance. Codependency is still an issue here. It is safe to love divine masculine, romantic feelings very soon, and free yourself. All right? Don't fence me in. Around the divine masculine or how he's seen is the alchemy card, patience, angels, done aligning and overworking, spreading the word of recovery back into the fold, Clearing the masculine needs to clear blocks of the six of swords reversed, stuck in their emotions without peace, unable to find that peaceful place. 
in ending a family or emotional cycle of patterns of imbalanced give and take in relationships, debt, and inequity. Spiritual partnership comes up, but even more so patience and love partnership. Death of a three-way situation, over the loss, grief, and regret, reunion, and split to offer a payoff to the Queen of Wands so she can manifest on her own in separation or offering a donation in honor of someone's memory. And that was at 353, which is the Empress, and 53 is the Knight of Swords rushing in, but it's also the Catapult 53. Um, over the deception, grief, guilt, and happy with self, um, and purging with lover. Done overworking and done implementing plans for new projects over and over again with the Empress reversed and the High Priestess reversed, doing the work in such negative energy of lies and split and BS, the masculine now breaking patterns in order to make a bold move and leave or split. Ending, an, ending of an emotional cycle with new love on the horizon, new birth and ego death, the emperor reversed has passed away or is out of control or ego death. The queen of wands reversed weak or out of control ego Working or turning away, forcing the Knight of Pentacles to help in deliberations of her claiming she always makes bad decisions, so you do it. So here's that manipulation coming up again. I always make that bad decision, so you have to do it for me. So it's kind of like, even if if they're split up, it's the karmic still pulling the masculine back into their world to do everything for them. So that they can keep them around and guilt them to, to do everything. for You know, they're manipulating them, saying, I can't do it, so they'll do it for them. They really don't want to work. So the Queen of Swords reversed, negative self-talk or lying, drained or sick, overexposed by loyal servant. The King of Cups reversed, still carrying a heavy burden one more day to finally choose the new path of the left, the new, the Divine Feminine. The Goat is finally there at the top of the mountain and must now make a new choice of path. So Sovereign twin, Twins come full circle, Capricorn and Sag or with codependencies and patience with children and selves, inspired and challenged by equitable relationships and distribution, a big bomb drops for a fresh new start. In need of peace at the new moon or early morning hours, getting over grief, loss, regret, guilt, and shame, letting go of the baton to start the race over. There is no race. Working calmly to align with desires and emotional fulfillment, Wrapping up old cycle ties, new love, love message, child with a heart open wide to the emperor reversed, which could be somebody's old man since I saw that vision of someone with a cane in the chair. Sovereign twins and our kids moving or traveling, taking a new path inspired by the new moon, challenged by balance and fairness, Capricorn and or devil energy, codependencies and addictions, drops a bomb to release himself or someone else to be free and leap to a fresh new start patience with a need for peace still getting over loss guilt and shame but they're mostly over it but it's still ongoing because the cards there um, and dropping and dr getting over having dropped the baton so someone who doesn't usually let go of their responsibilities is now doing it because they know it's in their highest good but they're still uncomfortable with that feeling so that is the read and since we were able to do that pretty quickly and we were over it 23, 30 to 32 or 33. So that's the king of, of wands and then the journeyman, the 32 and the 30, the thir 23 and the 32. Okay, so I did put out the 12 cards. Wasn't sure if I was going to go into it or not, but I think I will. I didn't put out the Thoth deck yet. So I'm going to turn that around over here so you can see those cards. Okay, so Aries to Pisces, for those of you who aren't familiar with the way I normally do this, we have the underlying energy, this is the fifth card down, to the fourth, third, second, and this was the bottom of the deck, the tower reversed, this is for the fire signs, for the earth, we have the three of wands reversed, for the air signs, we have the seven of swords, and for the water signs, we have the strength card up top. The underlying energies end up being the queen of cups here, as well as the marriage card from the kipper deck here. And underneath there was the main female, the mature male, and then another privileged lady there. And someone in despair prior to that. 
So this is coming forward. There's some kind of great fortune and then despair, leaving that fortune perhaps, and the privileged lady, and then there's somebody's father. This could be a karmic and their father, and the marriage or a new marriage to somebody else or a divine feminine. So there's all sorts of situations that can come up with that. The queen of cups and then the marriage here. So we didn't pull Thoth, so I think I will. We start with Aries here, and it ends up on Pisces over here. So we'll do one more deck, and then I always clarify with the, with the mini deck as well. Take a deep breath. Um, the energies, as far as my heart or my solar plexus, haven't been bad today. Um, what do I want to say about the energy? Oh, the, the Mercury retrograde is definitely going to affect. I'm starting to see, like, my computer's been really slow yesterday and today. It's just not processing as fast as it usually does. Um, but I'm not feeling a lot of chest stress or solar plexus stress. You know, a little bit of, when I do these reads for the mask, I'm, you know, there's always something that comes up there. But I have been getting a lot of mass on energy coming through because I sweat my butt off when the mass on energy comes through. All right, so for Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs for October 26, 2019, going forward. For the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Clearing all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities, and filling with beautiful divine love and diamond light, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. Okay, so Aries has... Victory. So the boy who's in poverty, who may have left his riches behind, is now in victory. This is like a wild card for me. This is for Taurus. Gemini has love. That's like the two of cups. Beautiful. Cancer has the knight of swords. Leo has sorrow, which is the three of swords. Virgo has luxury, but it's reversed, which is like the four of cups reversed. Libra has the lovers. Scorpio has the nine of swords reversed. So this is very much about the purging, suffering in silence. Could be some chronic suffering right now that's been ongoing, so it's nothing new. And then we have Sagittarius with the ace of swords, some kind of new truth or idea or triumph there. And then we have Capricorn with swiftness reversed. So this is like holding back feelings, energetic exchange, delays in communications and travel. And then for Aquarius, we have the, this is like the temperance card. It's called art, but it's the 14. It's reversed though. So there's impatience here. No creativity when you're impatient, basically it's saying. And then we have Pisces has change reversed. So resisting the change. And then for everybody, we have Strife, which is the five of wands, which is that expansion energy. So make it play as opposed to conflict or fighting. It's about play. And along with that, we have the hermit reverse. So coming out or dealing with mental illness. And then defeat. This is the five of swords reverse, though. So the war is over. And then the knight of cups. Offering love. Offering love after the war. And then the ten, the ten of swords uh, reverse comes up. So this is the worst is over. All right. So it's definitely the after the war PTSD kind of thing right there. We've had a lot of PTSD end of war. It's been a long after war energy. Then we have lust at the bottom of the deck, which is eleven, which is like the strength card though. So the strength card and justice are reversed in some decks. Sometimes it's the eleven is actually the strength card, which is what this is representing, but it's called lust. But it's the eleven. Okay. Um, underneath that we have the, the world card, but it's incomplete. It's actually not the world. This is the four of wands reversed, though. So somebody's moving, leaving a marriage, or traveling. This could be travel. It's like traveling around the world. It reminds me of the world card, okay? And then there's valor. Somebody's definitely standing up for themselves or for someone else. In leaving a situation, marriage, or going to visit a friend, and being strong, taming the inner beast, but there may be some lustful thoughts there for sure. Okay, so now I have my little mini Rider weight, And what's down there on already pulled 
is the Big Rider weight and the Kipper deck. So that and the Thoth deck, and now we have the mini deck for clarifications. So we're gonna start here with the fire signs and the towers reversed up top. So that's either avoiding a disaster or in the aftermath, and we're definitely dealing with PTSD right now. So in the aftermath, of sudden events, disasters, whatever it is, for Aries, we have the King of Swords, poverty, and victory. So in leaving, he comes into his truth, and he actually is victorious because he'd rather be his authentic self than stay wherever he left from, okay? So this is this King of Swords and his inner child, or this can literally be a father and son who are victorious together, okay? And the aftermath of the war, this one is going out on his own, or it could be a father and son. Maybe someone just lost their father, so it's the son thinking about their father going out on their own. So this is about feeling defenseless to the energies, no longer caring. Like when you know you're so beat down in dark night, when you get to that bottom, you're not defenseless to the energies anymore because you just don't care. Like, so you don't fight it anymore. And this is about, exp this is about expressing your feelings and energetic exchange. Feeling defenseless to the energetic exchange between you or expressing feelings back and forth or the arrows of love and you see how these wands connect to each other one goes right into the other right when you when you are defenseless to the energies and you're so beaten down the one wand you have left goes into inspiration those feelings post-war okay so the war creates from it is making lemonade out of lemons right taking the dark energies and turning them to light, which came up in the read today. Okay, so even when you have to face in the aftermath those you've hurt who refuse to give love back. All right, so there may be children who were hurt in the aftermath of the war, but you need to face each other and get over it. Okay, and deal with the lack of affection between you. All right, so it's definitely father and son issue there, and it definitely could be a divorce, okay? And there's the devil. So somebody with definitely with codependencies and addictions in a divorce and now after the war needing to reconcile with children here who need your attention. All right, so it's definitely father and son or it's the inner child of that person, but there is victory there. All right, so it is coming together with the children who just need, who need a parent, who need love. They need help to turn themselves around, okay? So this is Leo. Leo has the wounded warrior, the wealthy man, and sorrow. So he may be wealthy, but he's very wounded, and he's sad. This is the Three of Swords. There's a third-party heartbreak or some kind of separation. Okay, so his money needs month means nothing when you're feeling like this, right? But he's not surrendering. Maybe he's worried about losing his money. He spent so much time trying to protect his money instead of just leaving a situation that wasn't serving him that he might have done more harm than good to himself. There's a big chunk that just came out for Leo. All right, so Leo, either still being a little sneaky or coming clean, the emperor reversed, either out of control, abuse of power, so coming clean about that abuse of power, or in ego death, losing control. Um, now done overworking, done aligning with your desires, no more overworking. He's too tired, he's done, he's, you know, he's the wounded warrior. He only has a little bit of fight left and a third party to deal with. This can also be overindulgences, gossip, um, antisocial behavior, no social life, no joy, and needing to come to heal and become sovereign again now that he's single. Okay, and then here's coming together too. This could be definitely twins coming together, the sovereign and the magician. So that's Leo. do we have then we have Sagittarius in the aftermath is what Sagittarius has the ten of cups the main male and the ace of swords is triumph so it's either just emotional fulfillment within a happy family the end of a family cycle or this can represent the rainbow bridge as well but there's triumph and truth here so let's see what that has to do with so either way it looks really positive for Sagittarius and I know they've been having a tough go of it lately all right, why do we have this for Sagittarius? We have the truth, we have the main male, and that what looks like happy family energies. All right, so this is about a negative past or negative childhood, negative past life, 
negative children, difficult time with your children, or the past returning. So one positive can be the past returning um, to help you break patterns, to drop the facade. It's the past return to trip you up so that you would break those patterns and become more authentic to yourself and be inspired by it. So this is um, Sagittarius. All the difficult energies you went through recently were to clear some of your past wounding so that you be could become inspired out of it. Two, even in the midst of dysfunctional family, it's like you're not losing your power just because these this energy's here. You're standing up to that dysfunctional family. They may be the power family, but not to you anymore. They think you're little cakes, right? But you're not. You're standing up for yourself to the dysfunctional family who's pretending not to see that you're dumping all of your emotional attachments with them to find your happy dreams, to shine your light. So Sag is doing really well. You're standing up for yourself. All right, so then we have Earth signs with the Three of Wands up top, reversed, which is about looking back to the past or going back to the past or living in the past. And here's the Three of Cups again reversed, which has to do with any kind of overdoing it or underdoing it into extremes, right? This is no joy, no parties, no social life, or partying way too much and throwing up. It's gossip and overindulgences, third-party situations, and then community and the wild card. So this community that took him in may have been a safe haven at one point, but all he's learned from this community is this behavior. And now he's got the wild card, and it's his choice if he wants to turn his life around. That's Taurus. So is Taurus going to continue living in the past or going back to the past to dysfunctional ways and things that are no longer for his highest good? Or is he or she going to break away from that, even though they feel indebted to them for some reason? Okay, so it's about disconnecting. There's no affection there. This could definitely be a divorce. No affection, or this could be becoming more spiritual or outside the box or an alternative relationship where there's no affection or just being on your own or let, leaving the brotherhood, letting go of any contracts or commitments where there's no affection that don't make you feel good. All right, and there's the devil. Okay, so this is like religion and then the devil. And this religion upside down could definitely be what someone considers the devil's work or literally is, like, it can be really evil religious leader. This can be as well. That there's no love there. There's also Gemini, Taurus, and Capricorn energies coming up here. And triumph between them. And of these energies, even the devil could just be a Capricorn person who's actually the one who's upright. And triumphing over evil. Alright, so that's Taurus. In the aftermath, there's your tower. So this is going into the fire energy as well. So Taurus is connecting with fire signs. In the aftermath of sudden events or war or divorce, whatever it was, there's triumph for Taurus in getting over addictions. All right, so Virgo has the Ten of Swords reversed, which is the worst over. The pain is, this is the bliss. When the pain of the swords actually falls out, there's bliss because there's that release, you know, just like childbirth when you finally push that child out. Then judication and luxury reverse, which is the four of cups reverse, which is starting over in love. Like you don't have the luxury of this time anymore because it's time to start over and no longer, you know, keep the things around in your life that no longer serve. It's time to start over in love and no longer settle. And there's definitely some kind of um, judication that needs to happen about inequities between two people after the worst is over. So the fight's over, but there's still settlements that need to happen in court. Time to start over, no longer settle. No longer say yes just to keep the peace. So no more living in the past again. You might need to go back to the past though just to finish some paperwork, administrative stuff. So this is Virgo. Again, the tower reversed. So in the aftermath of sudden events or trying to avoid more disaster, reaping rewards, even though it may not be that much, and daydreaming about what you want to do next with it. All right, but right now you, need to, you might need to do some purging. Or this may be someone who feels bad about somebody else who's purging, but they don't feel worthy of this. This person may miss this person, but this person doesn't feel like they have enough to come forward to this person. So that could be Virgo as well. But then after getting over the purging or being up nights stressed out, 
they're going back to work. They've had enough reaping rewards. They're going back to work in a bold move to ascend. Okay, so maybe some work or travel, maybe traveling on the road. But just watch out for negative self-talk and the awakening. And again, the, all the earth signs are about living in the past. Are you going to live in the past? Are you going to get out of those old habits or people or energies that are around you? So Capricorn is the two of swords, being in your knowing or pretending not to see. The official person and then the delays in communication or travel or holding back your feelings and not giving out, you know, keeping things from people for now. So official people, they can't just express all their feelings. They have to keep it to themselves because it's not professional. They have to keep to themselves. This is what this is coming up as. Capricorn is the, the epitome of professional, right? And all aligned with Saturn, being responsible and keeping their own, their own emotionalism to themselves because it's not professional to have feelings. So that's an old way of thinking. Obviously, at work, you don't deal with those issues, but you need to turn that off when you go home and deal with family and children and loved ones. Different. All right, so Capricorn has all this stuff coming up. So the end of a fight, no more conflict, or you've finished a game. Somebody may have lost the game, and somebody's still going on with all the way of the world upon their shoulders, that Atlas energy, or may feel like they're banging their head against the wall. All right, they're still feeling the end. There's two tens here. There's still three. We have the ten of, of cups. So they're all up right here. So they're ended, but they're, you know, there's still paperwork and red tape to take care of. After the battle, all this stuff needs to be taken care of, but it's over. It's still painful, though. There's still pain going on. There may be some emotional fulfillment from completing all of this, but it was a lot of hard work that's still ongoing right now. There's still some pain and some emotions to still deal with, all right? But the King of Cups is happy overall. Happy and walking away, all right? That's Capricorn. Maybe going toward a Queen of Cups reversed, okay? Maybe walking away from the Queen of Cups reversed and leaving or moving or going towards this person. It just depends on your situation. All right, so then we have Gemini. Gemini and all the air signs have the Seven of Swords up top, so that's traditionally the risk card, the liar, cheater, thief. And what are they running away from? And we have the Queen of Cups upright down here, being strong, taming the beast, but there's somebody running away from them. It's back to the past to avoid disasters and sudden events. Maybe they don't like surprises. So Gemini has the Four of Swords, the Imprisonment and the Love, which is the Two of Cups. All right, so they're finding peace, but they're, they're feeling imprisoned. Or this could be reversed energy too. They have the Two of Cups, which is beautiful connection, and they have peace, but it looks like the 5D connection, which can end up feeling like a prison at times. All right, so connecting in 5D, someone's still stealing from you because they're not coming forward in the physical way, making you feel cheated. So Gemini, so this flipped over for Gemini. Gemini is sovereign. Maybe they have come into union. Somebody stole their heart. Um, they may need to be in seclusion so nobody knows about it for a while, but this could be Gemini in union, guys. Messenger of Truth, Knight in Shining Armor. Tired of trying to deal with this third energy in the 5D and coming in for the, for the physical union to find peace. Okay, so Gemini, they may be keeping it under wraps, but that may be here. Libra, we have Judgment, Message, and the Lovers. So this could definitely be a culmination. This could be a divorce announcement or announcement of a um, proclamation like came up in the read. There's definitely a message, whether it's verbal or by note, and in regards to the lovers, so great affection. And I love that too because the lover's card has a, a black and a white child. So it's about uh, coming together with in, in relationships where you have differences, which is so much the twin flame journey, right? 
So let's see whether this is a call to action announcements or a final judgment of a divorce or whatever justice is going on. There's a message, so that final uh, judgment might come down. And regarding the lovers, whether it's for coming together or for a divorce. So why does Libra have this? Okay, somebody is going forward. This could be a proclamation because he's the humble servant. That could be a, this could definitely be a proposal. In the Siren Starseed deck, he literally looks like he's proposing. Somebody's proposing to make a bold move, to travel or move. Maybe some negative self-talk here, or a child who's talking back. And these can be two children as well. And we have Cancer energy there too. In the Awakening. So this could be somebody coming forward to work or to help out, to drive, travel, or move, to help out with this. Um, could be helping a child move. This could be spying as well, though. It can be negative self-talk or a child with potty mouth. And uh, there's a big wake-up call to that on where it came from. <laughs> the mama or the grandma with the potty mouth. Okay. So somebody's waking up to the negative ways of this person. Unless this is somebody who's ill who, or who's passed away recently. Could have been someone who passed away recently. Okay, or someone who just refuses to change. This is like the old biddies who never change. And the kids are waking up to what their parents or grandparents are really like. Or an aunt or uncle, whoever it is. But that's coming up with Lib Libra with judgment coming in. So it's like the kids are they're the kids are finally coming into their own where they have their own perspective and they're not speaking from their parents' perspective. They're speaking from their own perspective. So there definitely could be the lovers could reference the affection between the parents and the children as well. But it also can represent in a divorce situation, um, you know, just recovery between kids and parents and grandparents, everyone, especially if they're staying with somebody else right now. So we have the um, Cancer, and for me this is Capricorn, but it can be Pisces as well, and there's Taurus here, and then Scorpio as well. So the Pisces coming up again with the with the um, Empress, is in the, came up twice in the read. Different card here, but it was Pisces. So Pisces and Taurus came up twice reversed together. And this is the third time. Pisces and Taurus, but both reversed, like the old women who won't change. I know two women like that. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say whose family it is. but All right, and then they, these two just popped out, because that's like literally the two old biddies, right? Who are very judgmental and never change. That's pretty funny. This is supposed to be non-judgmental, but when you deliberate, you're basically not making a decision because you don't want to, because you know you're wrong, <laughs> but you don't want to admit it. So they were kind of just popping out about the, the two old women who won't change. So what do we have for... What do we have for Aquarius? We have the Eight of Swords reversed, Distant Horizons, and then the Art, which is like a Temperance card reversed. There's Impatience, Losing Your Temper here, Fallen Angel. Somebody gets out of prison from Distant Horizons, and this could be somebody who literally got out of prison, right? There's no water. There's no emotion here. When you're in prison, you don't cry anymore. There's no emotion here. It's all dried up. Somebody who's a Fallen Angel, Impatient, and could lose their temper easily, so... I'd watch out for the Aquarius here. We have the Liar, Cheater, Thief, Risk card at the top. All right, so for Libra, it was the most... Gemini looked great. Even looks like a union there. Libra was more family-oriented and soft and could be about, about um, people getting away with things, like the old people who, you know, you say, oh, they're just old, leave them, let them be because they'll never change. And then, But this is the definite prison one. So watch out for that Aquarius energy if that's deal if that's specific to any of you guys. Then we have Cancer. All of the water signs have the strength card at the top. So taming your inner beast. 
being strong. And this is for Cancer. Cancer has the Five of Swords, thoughts of, of a woman, and then Knight of Swords here. So there's a lot of war energy still here, right? And that looks like a, uh, a drone or a helicopter. So somebody, even though the war is over, may literally be in the military, so they still have military duty here. And they may be, you know, go overhead with a helicopter, which I hear helicopters so so, so much more than I used to who, that uh, travel overhead. And this may be someone flying in a helicopter thinking about someone there. Or overseas at war thinking about, you know, it's like the soldier who's thinking about the woman at home. That's the cancer energy. Trying to be strong. All right, so here we have the loyal servant coming in. And there's the cancer energy again boldly going where he needs to go. This could definitely be in service to the country, Red Cross, all that kind of stuff, um, but with negative self-talk. Okay, and again, they could be two children as well that they're worried about, that they feel like they always need to protect the kids. Okay, and that so it's the same sequence is coming up for them. Awakening to the fact that the kids have their own minds as well. They have to let them be. It's about being strong and detaching from family that doesn't serve or from you or the person who doesn't serve because you're always trying to control other people. It's not up to you to control them or protect them. If it's your job, that's understandable. But outside of that, this is the awakening to the energies of this person, again, which can be a grandmother, mother, aunt, whatever it is. Or just seeing seeing very differently, and the kids kids are getting it now, and that could be in your favor or not in your favor. And this child could be, you know, this somebody could be spying here too. So somebody in the military could be spying on someone, and the kids or somebody else might actually become awakened to the fact that they're spying, and so they may get caught. There might be some of the uh, air energy transferring over to the, that energy since we have the, the risk and liar, cheater, thief at the top. So, and that makes sense too. If you're in a helicopter, you could be spying for the military. So this is the Scorpio energy, seven of pentacles reversed. We have unexpected income and cruelty reversed. This has to do with suffering in silence and the purging cycles. Um, but there's some unexpected income which may help you um, get ahead a little bit instead of reaping rewards and just feeling the purging and the suffering, um, implementing some kind of plan to go forward to get you out of this energy, being strong. So let's see what uh, Scorpio has. Why does Scorpio have the Nine of Swords reversed? Okay, needing to get real and, you know, really make that effort to let go of things that no longer serve you and shine your light. Make your dreams come true. It's time. Dump the things and go. You got the stars and the moon. Shining your light, dreams come true, healing with illumination at night. Allowing your subconscious to come up so you can see what it is to let it go, to let go of the past, to look back at the past and then bring it up, you know, the shadow work and then let it go. Maybe seeing the truth for what it was in the past of the Queen of Wands reversed was incomplete. An incomplete world, it really wasn't for you. Or this could be... This could be consider, someone considered a false twin, too, because this can be the twin, and she's negative, so that's not the energy that you want for anyone. Um, but this is Scorpio getting past all this, seeing the shadowiness of the past and their subconscious, looking back to see it, to let it come up, to release it. Feeling left out in the cold, abandonment and rejection issues, homelessness, hunger, all of those wounds need to come up for Scorpio here while we're in Scorpio season. And here's healing from it, forgiveness, and also any kind of surgeries and healing from them, okay? Letting go of a job that doesn't serve you anymore or people that you don't like working with, even if you like the work, free yourself. This is Scorpio season. They're bringing up all the things you guys need to clear this month. Love yourself first. And maybe a message of love is coming in behind your freeing yourself. 
you let go of all the crap, this is what comes in, okay? The rest, the relaxation, the connection of 5D, and the love that's offered. Coming up right behind you as soon as you free yourself. That's Scorpio being strong and Pisces. So Scorpio and Pisces going through the same energies. They both have that nine of swords. Suffering at night, not sleeping well, headaches, crying. Um, false person, whether it's you or somebody else around you. Feeling like you need to be more in your truth, but maybe you're struggling with that. And you're struggling with the change that needs to happen to do that. So this doesn't have to be female. They're both wearing, they could be, both be masked, okay? But there's suffering in silence and purging going on. And something needs to change to alleviate that as far as allowing the transformation to happen. And there could be a snake in your midst as well. We have two eights there. So eight, eight. So be strong. And we have the strength card up top. So for Pisces, it's very much about inner strength to do what you know what you need to do. All right, for Scorpio, I mean for Pisces, the Empress reversed. So this could be somebody sick. It could be a mother or grandmother who's sick or ill or with mental issues. Or it could be your boss who's a B-I-T-C-H, right? Or somebody else who's in your life that you don't need in your life, right? This could be um, dysfunctional family, a mother or grandmother, but also, again, it can be your family at work. It's dysfunctional or losing money or out of control. And this is keeping to yourself. This could definitely be at a job, like where this is the what's going on at job or in family, and this is you keeping to yourself. You're, out, you're staying out of it. I don't need any of that stuff. I'm getting real. I'm dumping all this. It could even be you leaving a job. But you have still have to work there for another two weeks. So keeping yourself, getting real, and dumping emotional attachments to shine your light. So this is going into this other energy, just like Scorpio. So beautiful. Doing the shadow work while you have this few weeks, if you are leaving a job, it's time to go within, bring up whatever's triggering you, see it for what it is, and then let it go. All right, the bottom of this deck is the hangman awake. So awake, this can be awake. It can be a new idea. It can be someone with a big head. And someone with a potty mouth, spying, negative self-talk, ADHD or ADD, um, any kind of disorder, mental disorders, uh, bipolar issues, okay? So somebody may be awakening to these issues of somebody else or within themselves after boldly coming forward about it in their own awakening or an idea or... Dealing with your own big head. There's cancer, but that's the underlying energy. So we have the awakened person in the underlying energy, the lust with the strength card at the top of the water signs. And that doesn't have to be a lust for another person, it be a lust for the work that you do. We have marriage. And then the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups being strong in their marriage in an awakening, or with someone who has a big head. So for everybody, we have here the Five of Wands, which is the strife here, conflict, expansion, change, playing, games, the quest, whatever it is, the Hermit Reverse, needing to come out of isolation, and then the Five of Swords, post-war, in the PTSD, the Knight of Cups, learning to give love. And then, you know, once the person being love and receiving love now helps the worst to be over after the war. So that's for everybody. And then I pulled a bunch of cards here too. All right, so for the Kipper deck, we had here at the end, the journey. So somebody going on the journey of the thief. So I was definitely getting here with the bad health and this man, he may have been a thief in his day, right? And it's been a long journey for him. He's now older and he's sick. He may be regretting some of the things he did or maybe being judgmental of people today who are just doing the same kind of things that he used to do. Or maybe he was worse when he was young, right? Because we have a little kid here. He could be thinking back to his day when traveling was different, right? And he actually may be changing his will because he feels bad. That's what I was getting. There's a gift here. He may be changing his will to actually gift someone something who he had judged prior to this. He may be changing his mind. There may be a message of concern. 
and he may change his will or change anything it can be. Maybe he needs to change his habits if he's got bad health. And regarding this house, whether gifting it to someone or leaving it, or it's, it's the cause of the illness. And then there's courtship because there was a marriage here, or there's going to be a marriage here. So could it could have to do with the bad health in general, just he's dying and he wants to leave this house to someone. Or his bad health is getting him, inspiring him to change his beliefs about someone and gift them something and sending a message changing the will, like I said, and maybe leaving the house to them or the need to clean this house because it's causing him the bad health. Have and Or cleaning it up to ask someone them to marry, to live in this house with them. Okay, and maybe he's lovesick. So those are the different energies there. And the bottom of this deck was marriage. So there's definitely marriage all over that Kipper deck there. And then this was very interesting too. The fire signs end up with the Ace of Cups reversed. All right, feeling you could be dumped. You could be in the dumps. You could be throwing up. You could be crying, purging, pushed to your emotional limits, right? But that's good. You need to cry. Let it out, fire signs. Don't hold it in. Don't be a macho man. Here's the earth signs, the six of pentacles, the need to balance some kind of debt or inequitable distribution, being scammed. It's saying in the past, you may have given too much or you may have taken too much, and it's time to change your ways. It's no longer about living in the past. It's about changing. Even though you've never seen it happen before in your life, it's different now. It's time for you to make your dreams come true. For air signs with the Queen of Swords reverse, some negative self-talk or a liar or, or a silent treatment, or she can be a B-I-T-C-H. She could be verbally abusive. And there's definitely that liar, cheater, thief energy at the top, the risk, the getting away with something. And some, you know how some people can get away with saying stuff that you could never get away with because you would get you'd get in trouble right away? There's just always those certain people who get away with it. And that's the kind of energy I'm just getting there. Uh, for the water signs, they're coming up with the chariot here, making a bold move to move or travel or ascend. Okay, now be careful. This could be warlike energy, especially if it turns over there. You don't want to head, head on the war path. You want to ascend. It could be helping others, being strong. So then we go there from here, from being dumped or overwhelmed because of a scam or an imbalance with this person who's lying or negative or whatever, and then a bold move to get out of there, walking away within, possibly in the night, or just allowing your subconscious to come up, right? This is the, the lobster saying, darn you, moon, <laughs> you false light, bringing up all this crap for me. I can't get past these dogs. They keep howling at the moon. So this is like also, if you can't beat them, join them. So if the, peep, the neighbors are making too much noise, come out and start making noise with them. Don't worry about the moon. Go to sleep. Then we have the queen of pentacles here. So coming into some better energy there, walking away, dealing with the false light and the false light within yourself, coming across the woman who's grounded as opposed to the queen of swords reversed, who who's has everything she needs. She's very peaceful and loving, but she manifests as well, and she could be a potential lover. So you're the queen of pentacles and the lovers and the six of cups. So that could be like the perfect little family. This can represent twins or the children, if you're planning to have more children. That's really beautiful. The queen of pentacles, the lovers, and the six of cups. And then we have someone starting over in love and not settling this time. So being careful about who they choose. And that could be coming full circle again and or the Divine Feminine. Complete somebody who completes your world. And then after that, we have the Knight of Swords and the, and the Knight of Cups come up together face to face. And then the final card comes up. The Ace of Pentacles for that new life. How beautiful is that? I bet you never expected that at the end for all you guys. Okay, guys, do your thing. Drink your water. Get your rest. Be joyful and rise and be love. Bye.